The Lincoln Bedroom Given Lincoln's frequent appearance at various places on this list, it is no wonder that his bedroom comes in at number one. Winston Churchill famously refused to sleep in the bedroom, ever again after seeing the ghost beside the fireplace. Beyond those already listed as seeing Lincoln in other places, he has been spotted by President Steady Roosevelt, Herbert Hoover, and Dwight Eisenhower, First Ladies Jackie Kennedy, and Lady Bird Johnson, and presidential children Susan Ford, and Maureen Reagan. Maureen and her husband both saw Lincoln standing beside the fireplace, just as Churchill has seen him. Other guests have reported that, lights in the bedroom will turn themselves on, and inexplicable cold spots will occur in the room. The Basement White House lore tells of something particularly dire lurking in the basement. Unlike other areas of the White House, that are inhabited by spirits of figures from American history, the basement is said to be the home of a demon cat. Those who have reportedly seen the cat claim that, it first appears as a small kitten, but as you get closer it becomes a larger and larger phantom beast. According to the legend, many years will pass with no one encountering the demon cat, but, when it does appear, it serves as a warning of a great national disaster. The demon cat was supposedly sighted, shortly before the great stock market crash of the 1920s, and right before President Kennedy's assassination. The Rose Garden The Rose Garden is one of the commonly used sites for presidential announcements. It is also the site of a particularly creepy haunting. The garden was originally planted, by First Lady Dolly Madison in the early 1800s, a century later, when First Lady Ellen Wilson requested that, the garden be dug up. Garden workers reported that, Madison's ghost appeared and prevented them from destroying her garden. Since that time, other White House insiders have reported an occasional, and inexplicable smell of roses in the White House. These instances are often credited to Madison's ghost. The Yellow Oval Room During Lincoln's administration, this room was his personal library, and one of his favorite rooms in the White House. Numerous White House employees have reportedly seen Lincoln gazing out the windows of this room. First Lady Grace Coolidge also claimed to have seen him here. In addition to Lincoln, the disembodied voice of David Burns has been heard from this room. First Lady Mary Todd Lincoln also reported seeing the ghosts of both Presidents Thomas Jefferson and John Tyler here. The East Room The East Room is the favorite haunt of Abigail Adams' ghost. During her tenure in the White House, this was the room in which she would hang her laundry. She is often seen in, or en route to the East Room with her arms outstretched, as though carrying a laundry basket. Sightings were particularly abundant during the Taft administration, but as recently as 2002, a group of tourists reportedly saw Adams. In addition to her sightings, many people report the faint smell of laundry soap around this area. Lincoln has also been spotted here, the room in which his body lay in state, 